believe this happened to me once again. I'm gonna call these motherfuckers. <clears throat> Hypernator Credit Card Department, it's Emmanuel speaking. How may I assist you today? Hey, look, I want to repair my credit card. For verification purposes, can I have your social security number, your date of birth, and the full credit card number? Mm, okay, okay, my social security number is 5524453. Um, November 15, 1985. And my credit card number is 4848484. Thank you for that information, sir. So let me confirm a couple of details here in my system. Sure, take your time. All right, sir. What is your inquiry? Okay, thanks. Look, uh, this is what happened to me yesterday. I was trying to make a couple of withdrawals from my credit from my credit card, and I realized something really weird. Apparently, my card was maxed out or blocked since it wouldn't give me any money or any cash for me. So I called you guys yesterday and requested a monthly transaction report. And you actually had sent me the report. And I was able to pin down a couple of transactions that I didn't make. So that's my inquiry. What's going on with my credit card? And these transactions are not mine. Okay, sir, I'd be more than glad to help you out with this situation. So would you mind telling me at what time uh, were those transactions made so we can confirm them in uh, real time? Sure. As a matter of fact, I noticed that those transactions were made um, at a different time and from two different ATMs. The first one was made at 5 a.m. and the second one was made at 3 a.m. The only downside here is that those transactions were made in a place I was not at. I can see the transaction that was made at 3 a.m. at TWM store. And in addition to that, I can also see the other transaction that was made at 5 a.m. Um, would you mind confirming for me the amount of those transactions? I remember that the first transaction accounts for the amount of um, $200. But the second one was for the amount of um, seven hundred dollars well sir as a matter of fact i can definitely see the those transactions that you are uh, telling me the first one for the total amount of two hundred dollars and the second one for the total amount of seven hundred dollars which account for the total amount of nine hundred dollars i would like to tell you that in this particular case since we uh, care about your security, we are going to conduct an investigation in order to identify who, were, who was the person who made those transactions on your credit card. Okay, that sounds pretty gnarly. Nonetheless, I need a refund effective immediately because that wasn't my mistake. Perhaps it was someone else's mistake, but this by no means is my mistake. So I need my refund immediately, man. I do understand your point, but please bear in mind that we're going to first conduct an investigation. However, in this particular case, your insurance doesn't cover this type of unusual transactions. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Did I hear well? Are you implying that my insurance doesn't cover for these kind of unusual transactions? <laughs> come on, how come? Your, your jewelry company have been uh, docking 15% of my pay every single month, man. And you're, you're telling me right now that this won't cover for this uh, fraud because this is fraud, man. To be straightforward, regarding the 15% that you're telling me that we have been uh, withholding it from your credit card, I definitely don't see it here on our system data. So my advice for you is to reach out your payroll, please check your payment slip. And if you have no, been noticing that that 15% has been withheld on your every month payment, please reach out to the payroll and talk to them about it. Because if the payroll has been withholding that 15%, uh, it's a matter of them, you know. We don't have any uh, information about that 15%. So please reach out to them and negotiate with them about that. 